Hey everyone, Megan O'Leary here at the UFC Performance Institute. I'm joined by San Francisco 49er Richard Sherman. What do you think of this facility from what you've seen? Oh, this is outstanding. I mean, I think it compares to any NFL facility that I've been at. Um, you know, they have a great training room. Seems like a great training staff. Obviously, the weight room and the, the, the gym, the mats, everything, the hot tub, the cold tub, everything you need to keep your body in shape allows guys to centralize their, their performance and their training. Uh, I think that's phenomenal. Let's talk about what you have coming up. Um, what are your thoughts about the season and your first season as a 49er? What are your expectations? Uh, I expect success. You know, I think we have the, the team, we have the quarterback. Um, really excited about, you know, all the pieces, all the moves that, that John and Prague and Kyle made this offseason. Um, with the free agent pickups, the draft. Really excited for, for us to, to go out there and put on a performance. Richard, you're here for a body armor shoot. Tell me about that partnership and how it came about. Well, it's Kobe Bryant. It was all Kobe. Uh, four, I think it was three or four years ago, um, we met at a Nike shoot, and you know, he told me about this great sports drink that you know that he was endorsing and that he really believed in. You know, ever since then, you know, I've been a huge ambassador of the brand. Obviously, you know, I drink it, my kids drink it, and it's been phenomenal. Richard, you are a high-level athlete, one of the best in the world. What are your thoughts on the UFC and the athletes on their roster? Man, I think they're they're incredible. Um, I think to to be able to to condition your body to, uh, to combat another person over, you know, what is it, five minutes around? Mm -hmm. and, and that's a long time to be doing anything, you know, whether you're just jogging or walking, mm -hmm. but to be exerting that much force and that much energy over that amount of time and have the, the stamina to still be able to, to be cognizant and think through your techniques and, and, and different ways to, to adapt to your opponent is outstanding. And, I, and you know, they, these guys take a ton of pride in it and consider me a huge fan. Does it ever make you want to maybe step into the ring or those mats and do a little cross training at all? No, not at all, <laughs> not at all. I'm perfectly fine watching from the outside. You know, <laughs> those guys are, are outstanding athletes and, and tremendous competitors, but you know, I am perfectly fine sitting there at my house watching it on TV with my popcorn. Have you ever been to a live UFC? I've never been to a live UFC event and I would love to come. Okay, we're gonna make that happen because there's people in this room that can get you tickets, so we're gonna do that. Before I let you go, we are in Las Vegas and I'm curious on your thoughts about when the Raiders come into town. What kind of city for the NFL do you think Las Vegas will be? Uh, I think it's gonna be great. You know, obviously it's gonna be unique for, for a lot of reasons. Um, it's going to be a lot of different, you know, it's an opportunity. A lot of people visit Vegas for their various reasons, and I think you're going to get a lot of fans coming from every walk of life, every, you know, not only the, the football fans, but just people, casual observers, people in town for other reasons that will come to the games, and I think it will be a hot destination. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Richard, thank you for your time. Best of luck to you this season. We'll be looking out, and we'll certainly get you those tickets. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.